Hello friendos and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha, I go places, I do stuff and I eat things and today we're doing stuff to eat things. I think a lot of us found that we were in like a really weird position last week when we all kind of like had to decide for you know, one reason or another uh, to stop eating Wendy's. Uh, and you know, we're just sitting here kind of wondering like how we're gonna live in a world without Frosties. But I have the answer for you. Today's copycat recipe is going to be a vegan, better for you version of a frosty. It should yield, hopefully we'll find out, uh, 16 ounces, so it'll be equivalent to a medium sized frosty, which is huge, in my opinion, uh, and I'm just pretty excited to give it a shot. I did some research, and the internet recipe that's floating around is a can of sweetened condensed milk, half a gallon of chocolate milk, and Cool Whip and you blend it all together and it makes a magical frosty. I am by no means a vegan. However, I try to eat uh, animal free as much as I can. And so I would like to give this a shot to make it vegan. I scoured the internet and identified three recipes of things that I would want to use. So a uh, coconut cream less uh, whipped cream because we want it to not taste like coconuts because frosties don't taste like coconuts. A sweetened condensed milk, which was actually wildly easy and then just uh, chocolate milk. So I went with the dark chocolate silk almond milk because I feel like that dark chocolate's gonna give us that chocolate punch that we are looking for. And so here is what you're going to do. The first thing you're gonna wanna make so you can set aside and freeze it is uh, whipped cream. We're not gonna use coconut cream, we're gonna use aquafaba. Most people use chickpea aquafaba, but I'm gonna use black beans, A, because it was the only one without sodium, and B, because I wanna see what happens and we're making a chocolate milkshake anyway and people make black bean brownies. So here is our experiment. It's cream of tartar and black bean aquafaba. I made a mistake. Don't do what I did. I added the sugar before the, the peaks formed in the, in the stuff. So now we got a big soupy mixture. I'm gonna try to whip it harder and see if that makes it work. If it doesn't, we'll just freeze it and hope for the best. It's fine. Everything is fine. All my failure aside, it worked. I made Vegan Cool Whip with black bean juice. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna freeze it now though. The second thing you're gonna need to make is sweetened condensed milk. It's just three parts of milk to one part of sugar and a dash of vanilla. You can see it's already starting to thicken. And the last preparation you're gonna need to do is freeze some of the chocolate liquid into ice cubes. Don't be messy like me. It's fine though, maybe. The hardest part about this recipe is just getting everything prepared. Nothing is technically difficult or time intensive. It's just waiting for it to freeze. So now that everything is frozen, let's get to assembling. You may have seen in the fitness episode that I am trying to be a little bit more chill with my diet. So I only am gonna make one serving. And so I will put the measurements I used for each component in the description box for you. So that way you can determine, recreate what I did if you want to. By George, I think we've done it. I have, I don't know, the texture seems like a little liquidy, but I've never poured, you know, like a frosty out of the cup, so I'm not 100% sure. But let's give it a try. Holy, holy moly, that's a frosty. The flavor is perfect. I couldn't even tell that it's vegan because we didn't use coconut cream. Uh, it is a little bit more liquidy. I think to remedy that next time I'll freeze all of the ice and or I mean bleh, All of the chocolate milk into uh, ice cube trays but this taste is spot-on and it is I just I'm like I've been drinking a lot of protein shakes. So to have something that actually tastes good is Frankly wild um, so I'm very excited to have these and uh, that I have some leftovers so I can make more of these in the future. It's amazing. 
It's like rich and chocolatey. I'm gonna give myself a sugar high though. <laughs> uh, I'm drinking it. So we've accomplished making a frosty vegan and delicious. Did we make it better for you? Well, here are the Wendy stats. And here's how ours turned out. Our, I don't have all of the nutrition facts because I don't care. We're going for the four big ones. Calories, fat, carbs, and protein. So the Sasha's version of this bad boy checks out at 254 calories, which is a whopping reduction compared to the Wendy's version. It also has 3.3 grams of fat, which is way lower in fat. Fat's not the enemy, but sometimes it's good to just have a nice light snack. Might have helped it be thicker though. Do you like this little hair that's just like, it decided not to be in a braid? Love that. It also comes in at 52.4 grams of carbs, so that's lower as well, and 1.6 grams of protein. I would have liked that number to be higher, but we can't have everything that we want. And there you have it, folks. I'll put down the measurements I used to make a single serving in the comment box below, as well as link you to the recipes for, that I followed, followed, that I tried to follow uh, for the individual components. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. Please let me know what else you want me to copycat. I'm thinking maybe Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets and Chick-fil-A sauce? Question mark, let me know. If you like this video, give it a like and please hit that subscribe button so you can see all of these ideas and videos that I have. I appreciate you hanging around. I'll see you in the next video, bye.